Zoom just reported they were expected to earn 99 cents per share. They reported a dollar 16. That is a crush. And they were expected to do 1.08 billion in revenue. And they did 1.1 billion beating, but again, not a crush. Guys, the stock is currently up 4% after hours, but it was up almost 8% at one point. Right when news comes out, there's a lot of fluctuation. Then you'll see some stabilization. Um, we are here. We like doing these earnings reviews, releases. The reason we do them is just to go through our process and how we look at companies. But keep in mind, we're long-term investors. Unless something is said in a press release that completely alters the business in some way, shape, or form, we like to look at these earnings releases as an opportunity to buy more shares if they happen to miss and the news is still the same, the business is still the same. Because remember, guys, no company's going to beat every single time. That's just not possible. If they do, that is a problem. First quarter total revenue, one point zero. He just got rid of it for me. Mo, why don't you go over what they did? I'm trying to f find it. It was here. just it's, right there. Yeah, I know. Jump. There we go. Okay, there we go. First quarter total revenue, one point one billion, up three percent year over year. Okay, first quarter enterprise, enterprise value of three hundred revenue. Enterprise, uh, enterprise revenue. Enterprise revenue. Sorry, three uh, six hundred thirty-two million, up thirteen percent year over year. Lots of big jumps here. Yeah. Let's see. Number of customers contributing more than 100,000 in trailing 12-month revenue up 23% year over year. Wow. Okay, let's see if there's some more highlights in here. That's incredible. While you look for more highlights, can I go over the stock price yeah. real quick? Guys, look at this. Back in October of 2020, it hit a peak of $588.84. This was the peak of COVID. And go back and watch our videos. And we kept saying, is it sustainable for them to be this big of a grower? And I guarantee, if you look at our videos, the comments at this point were, you guys are idiots. You don't get it. Okay. I don't even know what value we put on Zoom. But back in literally three weeks ago, four weeks ago, it hit a low of $60. That's a drop of 90 percent. Remember guys, they had a specific reason why they did it this well. It was COVID. People were not in the office. People had to communicate in some way and Zoom exploded because of it. They've taken this opportunity to really, really grow, but we want you to learn this lesson over and over again. Just like if South, just like Southwest and the airlines and the cruises, their revenue went like this during COVID. You don't sit there and say that's a permanent thing. Same with the shipping companies. Their revenue were like this during COVID. That was not a permanent thing. You have to look at the business. Don't just look at, if you're even fortunate enough to not look at the stock price and, only, and fundamentally and look at the fundamentals of the business, I salute you. You need to make sure that when you're looking at a company, you look at stabilized revenue and earnings growth, not because of some fluke event that's a one-time thing. Let's look back at this income statement. And I'm actually going to look at quarter to quarter. So in our software, back here, look at it, for example, right here. July of 2021, they did a billion in revenue. They just did a billion one in revenue. So in a matter of two years, they have barely grown. Why? Well, they got a lot of growth to start. Look at that. Look at their previous quarters. Look at um, January of 2020. They did 188 million. 188 million. So did they skyrocket from there? Absolutely. January of 2022, a billion dollars. Great. But they sustained that. But will the growth level persist? Will the hype surrounding what made this happen continue? Absolutely not. That's going to be very difficult. Very, very difficult. We see the same thing today with AI, right, Mo? Yeah, absolutely. The hype surrounding AI. AI this, AI that. And the biggest kiss to death in the world was Kathy Wood was a fan of Zoom. However, was it Michael Burry? Michael Burry, Michael Burry actually owns Zoom Communications. That actually blew my mind. It just came out in his 13F filing. So Michael Burry, the famed short investor from 2006, has, um, has bought Zoom. And this is, last quarter was their first quarter loss in many, many quarters. So Mo, what are you finding from their press release? Uh, I think that their forward guidance is what getting is getting everybody excited. Total revenue expected between 4.46 billion and 4.85 billion. That's for full year 2024. I think that's what's driving all of this because I mean their usership, they're they're growing 200 approximately 216 216,000 enterprise customers up nine percent from the same quarter of uh, last fiscal year. About 3,600 customers contributing more than 100,000 in trailing 12 months. We already said that. Their online churn of 3.1% for Q1 
down 50 basis oh, points. Oh, wow. Good for them. Yeah, exactly. That's really, so churn means like they're basically the number of people who just like mm -hmm. don't pay, who, who just cancel their subscription yeah. or something like that. So, I mean, this is, uh, looks like a lot of good news. You know, the thing is about this company, they're a good company. They make a great product. The product just is got, very, very just good. just got caught up in all of this disruption hype. That's really how I see it. Because this yeah. is a great product. Yeah. So, the, so, oh yeah, we use it all the time. So the question else. becomes, will Zoom be the, the meeting company? Because look at Skype. I don't know what Skype's numbers are because they're owned by Microsoft. Yeah. Um, I don't know what Microsoft Teams is because, or did they merge Skype and Teams together? I don't know. Teams is more for the corporate thing. I'm really not sure. Yeah. Because we have, we have Teams for the corporate level and Skype is there for, and I used to use Skype and I use Skype for international people yeah. and Zoom is more local. So Let's sit here and look at, okay, they're up 4.3%. I mean, I will say they are, when you, when I talk about having a teleconference with somebody, I always say, do you want to Zoom? And send yeah. me whatever link you want to send me. I don't care, but I'm Zooming with you. The verb, the verb the is ver Zoom. Exactly. All right, guys, here's our eight pillars. <clears throat> Remember, if you have our software, if you're one of the smart people who pays about a dollar a day to have our software, you can put up to 12 pillars, your own custom pillars, and up to 12 pillars, I think there's like four quadrillion different variations for pillars. And we're adding more as time goes on. Five-year PE of 48, but that's what I like, Mo. The five-year price of free cash flow is 25. Mm -hmm. So a much lower price of free cash flow. Okay, not enough debt on the ROIC. Fine with that. Shares outstanding though, guys. They're nice. diluting their investors. Let's hope they stop. 25% increase in the number of shares outstanding. That means mm -hmm. if you own the shares five years ago, you now have 25% more partners to split the revenue and profit with. So from last year to this year, they've been buying back shares. Oh, good they for them. They stopped. Good for them. That's good. So Mo, do you have any bull or bear cases for Zoom? Oh, let's see. So, I mean, on the bull side, it's everything that we talked about. We've, we've mentioned it all in the press release. And the bear side, let's see here. Research and development expense increased 113%. That could be a bull. Maybe. Due to a 67% increase in headcount and $250 million in stock-based compensation. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. Stock-based compensation. Guys, you know what? Uh, when you calculate your free cash flow, you should subtract the stock-based compensation from there. So that was for the last quarter or for okay. the last year? Uh, doesn't specify here. Well, I'll tell you what. Their free it. cash flow the last few years is... A billion two, a billion four, a billion four. So I'm hoping it's for the quarter. Yep. It's $250 million in stock. I mean, sorry, for the year, because that's a lot for the quarter. Yeah. And they're buying back shares, like I said, $72 a share. Oof. Over 200 times trailing 12 month earnings. So, what does Michael Burry see in this? Don't know. It's up five and a half percent about right now. What does Michael Burry see in this? Let's see here. Let's see what analysts are saying. I'm going to go to analyst estimates here. You know what? This is not a lot of growth. Well, I do think that a lot of analysts are probably seeing a lot of shrinkage over the next two years or so. No? Shrinkage how? Uh, okay, guess I'm wrong. Well, I didn't look at the, what the analyst said. But I this just, isn't even a lot of growth. Like, you would think for a company that's selling for I mean, I'm 40 times that. earnings would have know. a lot more growth potential than... Well, I'm looking at... I don't, I don't know if it's, these levels are sustainable. I, I, would be, I would be looking at it as maybe shrinking revenue at some point. Yeah, it looks don't like you the, think. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they become the go-to on meetings. Yeah. Might work out well for them. Yeah, so guys, remember, on analyst estimates, they have biases just like you. They have career risk, unlike you. So they're going to go follow the herd a lot more than uh, most people. I just look at it as a starting point. Mm -hmm. I don't ever take it with a, with a, this is absolutely awesome and incredible. I mean, Zoom has done very well. If you think Zoom is going to be around for a long, long period of time, we encourage you to use our stock analyzer tool to look at it for a long period of time. My guess is if Zoom's revenue falls enough, a company like Microsoft, I mean, Microsoft could just buy, why doesn't Microsoft just buy Zoom right now? Regulatory issues, $21 billion. Them. Look at this enterprise value, 17 and a half billion versus a $21 billion market cap. Google should buy them. Yeah, you're probably right. That's who, because Microsoft does have a nice platform for communications. Google does not. So look at this guys, the market cap of 21 billion, the enterprise value of 17, this difference is a net cash of $4 billion. This is essentially, if somebody came in and bought them and kept all the debt and all the cash in the business, yeah. they're only paying 17 billion. Maybe that's what Burry likes. Yeah, but you still have to do a multiple, multiple of here. You're still, okay, enterprise value to free cash flow in the last. He, he must see something because he's a person that goes in there, buys some, an undervalued asset, lets it run up to his price and exits. Yeah, you're he must right. see something. Hmm. But look at this, guys. I got, look at this profit margin, gross profit yeah, margin, 75%. Right. So guys, look at that though. 
we always tell people in our videos, don't mimic us. Don't buy what I look at Burry and going, man, what does he see in this? And if I don't see it, which I don't see it right now, I ain't going to buy it. I don't care if Michael Burry owns it or not. He's a much more active investor than I am. He also makes insane returns that I'm too lazy to go make those. So let's look at our stock analyzer tool. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, this is our stock analyzer tool. It was used by our users 1.3 million times last year. I can't wait to get this year's first half numbers so we can start uh, talking about that. But I look at this. This is a way of taking the cash flow from the business and the earnings, make some assumptions about the future, and see where the company will fall. Mo, what do you think about doing a five-year analysis? I'll do a 10-year. Okay. Because could Zoom be around for 20 years? Yes. But would I be surprised if Zoom is not around in 20 years? No. I so would I, I be surprised, be surprised if they were gone or acquired? Yeah. I think acquisitions probably, More likely. you know, it's hard guys for companies to go under when you have this net cash position here. When the enterprise value is lower than the market cap, that means there's net cash on hand. That's incredible. Yeah. All right. More likely they get acquired. Five-year average free cash flow of 831. I think it's five-year right. revenue growth and 91%. <laughs> per year. I know. All right, so it's because of COVID. Let's yeah, go to, I'm going to do my 10 year, you did your, um, your five year. There wasn't much growth there. So we're going to sit here and do this. So, um, okay. This is, this is the hard part about the software. Not the hard part. It's the part that takes a little bit of practice. Figuring out where you want to make your assumptions. Making wide assumptions is okay, especially in a company that's this young like Zoom. Just be ready for a wide range of prices. PE. There's a 201 PE currently in the last 12 months. So what's the, uh, what's the reasonable PE? If we grew it 10 years from now. The PE for 10 years from now. Um, let's see here. This is a, uh, this is a doozy. All right. That's a difficult one. So Mo, you did a five-year analysis. I what did. was your revenue growth numbers that you put so in? So I did two, five, and eight. For five years? Yes. I did three, six, and nine. Okay. They're able to grow a lot more, become more of a staple, become more of the moat yep. of like, hey, we're the people that do meetings. Okay. 9%. Mm -hmm. What about profit margin? I did four, eight, and 12. And frankly, I'm not really sure of what is the best way Their to go. Their gross margin is 75%. I know, but I don't know. Their one-year profit margin is 2.4%. Yeah, that's true. I so, did 10, 20, and 30. All right. I think going 10 years out, that's reasonable. It's going to stabilize somewhere. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah well, what about free cash flow margin? 16, 20, and 24. Okay, I did 20, 28, and 36. I mean, look at this five-year 34%. Yeah. Now, you, you might look at it going, well, yeah, but they had a lot more, you know, with, with Zoom, with uh, COVID, a lot more revenue came in with such a high gross margin. Now they're trying to ramp up. So this is probably aggressive, mm -hmm. but I do see how, I can see how they can get 20% free cash flow. Mm -hmm. PE. I did 17, 19, and 21. Okay, I did 15, 18, and 21 <laughs> versus the, guys, don't look at this 201 PE and yeah. think it has to be a discount of this. Right. This just shows you how expensive it is right now. Right. And then the five year, and then the, your price of free cash flow in five years. 17, 19, and 21. I did 15, 18, and 21. Mm -hmm. And your desired annual return. I like yours more. Mine's 12, 14, and 16. Guys, the higher your desired return, the more margin of safety you have. Very simple. The higher your desired return, the more margin of safety. This company's young. A lot of things are unknown. I got to put in bigger numbers here. I put 13, 16, and 19% because these numbers are going to be very difficult to hit. So I got to discount them greatly to give myself ample margin of safety. I hit the analyze button. The stock is currently at 170, sorry, at 75 bucks. So look at this. I have a low of 17 to 35, a high of 66 to 80, middle price of 40 to 55. I have a low price of $8 to 33, <laughs> 32 to 65 on the high, 20 to 48 in the middle. Let's wide see. ranges, guys. Very, Let's very see. wide ranges. Um, where am I a buyer of? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't agree with Michael Burry. He sees something I don't, more power to him. Oh, but guess what? Yeah. There's also the $4 billion in, $4 billion in cash, so 20% discount to this. Okay. Well, here you go. I did, yeah. I did some numbers. If you do revenue growth of 10% over the next five years... 20% profit margin, free cash flow margin of 24, keep the PE at 21, and do a 10% return, you can pay today's price for it. However, the cash on hand, the net cash on hand, mm -hmm. is about $10 a share. So take 10, so, so add $10 a share to all these. Oh, yeah. So okay. now we're at a high of 76 to 89. Okay, puts it there. High of 50 to 65, close. 
So maybe I sit there and I, I want to be conservative on this company. I'm going to add to my watch list at 50 bucks because I'm not dying to have Zoom. Yeah. I'm not like, yes, I got to have it. It's not like it's Ferrari or Target or something like that. So guys, if you like this, subscribe to the channel. If you like our software, $7 for seven days, go to everythingmoney.com. Try it out for just $7 for seven days, $1 per day. Don't be cheap. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.